Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, tonight I will show you how to make your own wallpaper for your Android phone. Well as you know most Android phones are quite capable of making wallpapers themselves because they can crop and resize on their own. Well some phones, like mine, cannot do that as well as they should have. Yeah? So we're going for that purpose to make it like a perfect wallpaper because uh, the Sony Xperia Sola uh, screws up or any other phone that might suffer from the same uh, um, software or limitations that it, ha that it has we use a computer program to solve the problem of course the first and best option is uh, Photoshop but instead of Photoshop I've chosen to go with paint.net it's uh, small, it's lightweight, it's quickly installed, it's free okay and it does exactly that what we need for the purposes of this video and as far as the differences between the program Photoshop and the program of paint.net they're very small and I will point them out as we go on uh, with this video okay I have prepared an image for you guys uh, which we can use as an example uh, you can use your own uh, if you want okay so here we have the image that we're gonna use uh, first thing you have to know is the resolution of your phone okay it's very important that you know that my resolution of my phone the Sony Xperia Sola is 854 by 480 or the other way around um, that is very important because uh, you have to remember that the Android uh, OS has uh, three or more home screens yeah and the wallpaper for it to work must stretch all across these three home screens and for us to do that we need to uh, have a image that is twice the width of your phone screen so in my case it's 480 that becomes 960 it's twice the width width so the um, resolution that we're gonna work with is 960 by 854 uh, if you have a different phone that resolution may differ so you have to ha you have to make different calculations if you have a different phone and uh, you have to figure that out because it's very important okay um, next thing we're gonna do is uh, see what it looks like when we choose a part of the image or a part of the image that we will use as wallpaper material material okay uh, in paint.net to uh, get this done we click on the rectangle select and we click on uh, because it's on normal here we click on fixed size okay and as the width we enter 960 by 854 pixels by default it's on inches but set it to pixels please okay to uh, make the rectangle appear click and drag you will see that we have now have the area which we can with which we can work okay and you might ask yourself hey why is there only a part of the woman on there you know that is because the image is too large it's too big you know so if you want the entire woman on there you have to make it smaller in uh, the process for this is the same in Photoshop and this program so we go to image we click on uh, resize and then um, we click on percentage yeah right now it's 100 it's okay it's a good number but uh, we want to make it smaller so we put it into 75 that's uh, perfectly fine because what happens and this is what you have to remember if you resize you must not go below 960 or by 855 or uh, whatever resolution you have because if you do uh, the end result will not be as pretty and uh, it will be uh, the, the picture will be very ugly okay so don't go with that so 75% is a good number and we click on OK so the image is now resized and for the Photoshop users to um, start and use the definitive um, wallpaper material to select that on the left in the tool section you have a tool that is called the crop tool yeah click on the crop tool 
and then click on fixed size enter the resolution 960 by 854 and um, yeah and just select that part which you need and uh, keep in mind um, .NET users or paint.NET users and Photoshop users that you divide the square in three parts and the woman in this case be that she is that she would be in the center because she would be on the main home screen right so just keep that in mind so once you have decided uh, the material or the the frame that you're going to use you click or you press on enter Photoshop users for the users of paint.net we go to image and click on crop to selection okay this is the final image uh, with which we can work now or which will be used as wallpaper materi material on your phone the only thing you have to do right now is to save it and uh, transfer it to your phone